Welcome to Technical Laboratory YouTube channel. In digital circuits, a shift register is a cascade of flip-flops, sharing the same clock, in which the output of each flip-flop is connected to the data input of the next flip-flop in the chain, resulting in a circuit that shifts by one position the bit array stored in it, shifting in the data present at its input and shifting out the last bit in the array at each transition of the clock input. More generally, a shift register may be multidimensional, such that its data in and stage outputs are themselves bit arrays, this is implemented simply by running several shift registers of the same bit length in parallel. Shift registers can have both parallel and serial inputs and outputs. These are often configured as serial in, parallel out, SIPO, or as parallel in, serial out, PISO. There are also types that have both serial and parallel input and types with serial and parallel output. There are also bidirectional shift registers which allow shifting in both directions, LR or RL. The serial input and last output of a shift register can also be connected to create a circular shift register. A PIPO register, parallel in, parallel out, is very fast and output is given within a single clock pulse. Serial in serial out, SISO, sample usage of a 4-bit shift register. Data input is 10110000. Time output 1 output 2 output 3 output 4000 these are the simplest kind of shift registers. The data string is presented at data in, and is shifted right one stage each time data advance is brought high. At each advance, the bit on the far left, i.e. data in, is shifted into the first flip-flops output. The bit on the far right, i.e. data out, is shifted out and lost. The data is stored after each flip-flop on the queue output, so there are four storage slots available in this arrangement, hence it is a 4-bit register. To give an idea of the shifting pattern, imagine that the register holds 0000, so all storage slots are empty. As data in presents 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, in that order, with a pulse at data advance each time this is called clocking or stroking, to the register, this is the result. The right hand column corresponds to the rightmost flip flops output pin, and so on. So the serial output of the entire register is 00001101. It can be seen that if data were to be continued to input, it would get exactly what was put in, 10110000, but offset by four data advance cycles. This arrangement is the hardware equivalent of a queue. Also, at any time, the whole register can be set to zero by bringing the reset, R, pins high. This arrangement performs destructive readout, each datum is lost once it has been shifted out of the rightmost bit. This configuration allows conversion from serial to parallel format. Data input is serial 
as described in the SISO section above. Once the data has been clocked in, it may be either read off at each output simultaneously, or it can be shifted out. In this configuration, each flip-flop is edge-triggered. All flip-flops operate at the given clock frequency. Each input bit makes its way down to the nth output after n clock cycles, leading to parallel output. In cases where the parallel outputs should not change during the serial loading process, it is desirable to use a latched or buffered output. In a latched shift register, such as the 74595, the serial data is first loaded into an internal buffer register, then upon receipt of a load signal the state of the buffer register is copied into a set of output registers. In general, the practical application of the serial in slash parallel out shift register is to convert data from serial format on a single wire to parallel format on multiple wires. Circuit Diagram Thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the channel.